Hey there, me again. Uh, we're going to do another video for new users on Yammer or maybe even existing users on Yammer that haven't really had a chance to look at the search function uh, that's at the top of all of the Yammer pages. Uh, search is a very powerful way of getting access to previous conversations, previous discussions, previous resources that were made available because Yammer has been in the department for a long time now and there is a lot of history, a lot of information that's in there and rather than asking a question as the first thing that you do, maybe it's worth doing a search of Yammer to see if there's previous discussions that you could find information that you need uh, really easily. So um, this search box lets you search for all sorts of different things. You can search for people, you can search for groups, or you can search for discussions. And uh, I'll show you how to do all three of those things. Uh, very easily using this search box. So let's come in here and the first thing we'll do is search for a person. Now uh, the Secretary of the Department of Education Georgina Harrison has been posting a lot of things lately and, and a lot of new users have joined Yammer because of that because she's been sharing a lot of information uh, and people want to come in and get that information. So if you've missed out on things that she said in the past uh, it's definitely worth coming in here doing a search for a person. So you do a search for Georgina Harrison and you type enough of the name to make it unique and she'll pop up here as a person. You can click on her and what it will do is show you straight away all of the conversations that uh, she has had contributions in uh, and it shows you those in order of um, newest to oldest. So uh, the conversations that have come in first, uh, this was the last post that she made and uh, there are a whole lot of other discussions that are in here that she's participated in as well and you can find out uh, all of those posts. So uh, that's searching for a person. Next thing I'd like to do is show you how to search for a group. So you could go through communities over here on the left and you could uh, go through and just browse those communities that are there uh, and keep scrolling through them. They're, they're showing up as um, the most popular ones through to um, least popular usually if you change it from recommended to all. That's um, by size of group you'll see that. Um, but you can, if you want to, just come in here and say, say you're new, you're a librarian person and you want to have a look and see what library groups there are, you can simply type in the word library in here. And in here it shows you people first, but then it shows you communities. And usually the ones that have got a little icon or an avatar are the ones that tend to have uh, more uh, activity because the people who set up the groups have taken the effort of uh, adding an avatar to it. Library Matters is uh, a good one for all things related to learning in the library. So you can jump in here and uh, straight away you can see that the discussions, newest discussions are first uh, and you can scroll through those and find out what's going on in the Library Matters group. You can join it very easily by clicking this join button and that will then show up in your list of communities that are down here on the left. But the other thing that you can do is now you can search just within the library group. So in here you can see that I'm in library. I can click on there and say no don't search in just library, search in all Yammer. But uh, no we do want to search in library and what do we want to search for? Let's have a look at uh, ebooks. And you just type in the word ebooks and hit enter and it will show you okay Rowena's got a post in here one drive for school libraries does your subscription include digital access to magazines well maybe we're not progressed that far we're just interested in finding out well what ebook solutions are there for use in Oliver and you can scroll through all of the discussions um, has anyone conducted a survey monkey for parents and students about interest in ebooks to help you decide whether to renew them or not so you can have a look at that, uh, low cost of providing ebooks and audio books and it talks about and there's a whole lot of resources in here, 15 replies. Uh, what about this one? Question what ebooks can be accessed in Oliver and you've got answers there. If you want to find the full discussion you can simply click on view the full conversation and you can see in here that there were multiple responses and uh, you can have a look at those discussions. And if it still hasn't answered your question then it's a matter of simply coming in here and adding in your own question to an existing thread if you want to. That'll bring it back up to the top of the Library Matters feed and then people can come in and reply to your question. So that's searching for a group and searching for a topic 
or a discussion within a group. The other thing that you can do is search for just a, um, a question. Maybe you've got a question about how do I uh, set up email on my Android phone, for example. So maybe ICT support is a good group for that. So you could come in here and you can use just the same as with Google search. You can use different, um, different Boolean uh, characters to say that you want something specific. So if I wanted email plus Android, what that will do is find me any discussion that has the word email and the word Android. If I put email space Android, it would do either email or Android, not necessarily both. But this way I'm putting a plus key in there and that tells the search to only give me responses that include both of those. And if I hit enter on that, what it will do is it's just searching within ICT support for email and Android and this is a person who says that I've got a Google Pixel 5 with Android and I want to set up my email and this is how I did it. Um, this is another one that says I'm trying to connect my Android phone and 32 replies have come in with advice on exactly how to set that up. Um, I've got a new Chromebook uh, and the person is asking questions about the Chromebook which is potentially able to have Android on it as well. So uh, there's a whole lot of discussions in here. Does anyone have any tried and tested ways of setting up email on Android? So rather than coming in brand new and asking the question, doing a search is a very handy way of getting um, access to previous discussions that may answer your question. The last one I'll want to show you is searching your own inbox. Maybe it was a discussion that you were involved in previously and you want to be able to find it again. You can tell it to search your inbox. So you can click on inbox here and then you can uh, see what your current unread messages are. But in search uh, you can come in here and you can say I remember a search I remember, sorry, a discussion that I was involved in that was all about something called reading progress, which is in Microsoft Teams, and I want to be able to find that again. Well, what you can do is you can say, read exactly the same with Google, reading space progress, but you include it in quote marks, and that will then find only those discussions that contain the words reading progress together, like that. This is the actual word that you want, not reading and progress separately somewhere, you want them together. So you say I want to find that in my inbox and I hit enter and straight away it will show you the latest post that included reading progress that you were involved in and uh, here is the po exact post that I was looking for. So I can come in here and I can go and view the whole thing, 76 replies and this was the conversation that I was interested in because it had a whole lot of really good links about reading progress. So I hope that uh, helps you to uh, understand how the search inside Yammer works. Uh, you can use it, it's very flexible, you can use it across all sorts of different um, groups, different categories, searching for people. It's a really handy tool and I strongly recommend that you get familiar with using the search tool in Yammer. Hope that was of use and I will see you in the next video.